before I glue the legs together on my drill press, I'm going to be putting some holes right into the wood, which is going to end up tying the legs to the bottom of the bench. Now the first hole I'm drilling is closest to the front edge of the bench, so it's just going to be the single hole. As I come down here, however, I'm going to get a little bit wider, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, and wider yet, and that is for the expansion of the top. So I'm actually making these holes uh, fatter than the bolt, so that the bolt will be steady in the bench itself, but will be able to slide back and forth just a little bit as the humidity changes. I'm not going to be sinking these, countersinking these, so that the uh, washers can glide smoothly on the top and I don't have to really worry about it. But as I said, this first hole is going to stay still. Uh, it will just be the size of the bolt. Each leg will get two of these boards with the holes in them on either side of the tenon. By having holes on both sides, I should be able to distribute even pressure when I screw in the lag screws. Okay, now I have to switch this bit for a slightly larger one. This one pretty much fits exactly the bolt that I'll be using. But now I need one that's gonna allow the bolt to move freely. So I just used a 5 sixteenths. I'm gonna move up to a larger one, which is now 3 eighths. I would normally be using dust collection right now, but the board that I'm drilling into is taller than any of the holes on my dust collection system here. Now, these do not need to be exact or perfect. I'm only clamping them, it's just way too hard to hold on to um, for what I'm doing. Maybe I will try the dust collection. I think some of that will still get sucked up. Brad Point bits really aren't designed to do what I was asking it to do. So, uh, try to get a file that will fit in there. So, 
Try this small guy here. With the lag screw freely moving back and forth in the slot, we're now ready to glue up the legs. Thanks for watching.